Hi everybody, it is January 17, 2019. All right, uh, this is my third and last attempt. I have, my computer obviously is dying. Um, I, the frequencies are really, things are changing guys, things are changing, getting worse. You might be living in an area that is rural. You don't have a high concentration of uh, cell towers, Gwen towers, antennas, um, Wi-Fi. You might be living in a house that your neighbor is, you know, some distance away. And you might have a view of what is taking place that is very different from a lot of people. You might think that things aren't that bad. Things are really, really bad really bad. Now, we have noticed, I've certainly noticed, just this past year, these frequencies, they, they are using them differently, and they are um, using different frequencies. As you can see, these microwave, um, let me slow it down a bit, Microwaves are being used more frequently. And the extremely low frequencies that we have seen on this site, as you can see, right here, they are the very long, extremely low frequencies. That has been new just in the last couple of months. Uh, I have a cat playing with the blinds. Could you please stop that? Thank you. Um, so I also have stated in videos that they obviously changed the frequencies because, wow, this past year it got so loud, but really loud early in the morning. And I have noted in videos that I can't distract myself from the buzzing. When now I've had this quote-unquote tinnitus, for many years, 24-7, never lets up. But when I would do research or do a video, I wouldn't notice it. Now, I can't. I always notice it. It's always there. Are they using this to entrain brains? Well, they could be. Are they using it to control populations? They could be. Um, but, you know, it's it's killing life. So a lot of people talk about the 5G. From 1 to 4G, it's been incredibly dangerous. 5G certainly is going to skyrocket death of all life. So my perspective on what is taking place, none of the agendas will stop. They are all full speed ahead. They're ramping things up. 2019, we're going to be seeing an awful lot of destruction. The simplest way to define evil, it destroys. Evil destroys. Good creates. Evil is out of control all over the world. Evil needs to be stopped the moment you see it. We Americans have voted for it. So, we haven't stopped it. It's only going to continue. Why am I saying all of this? Well, it has to do with the video that I posted yesterday, last night. Um... I have periodically posted videos asking if anybody wanted to hook up in your area to meet like-minded people to leave a comment below and leave the obviously don't leave personal information like a phone number or address just leave the town or county and state where you live and others can scroll through 
If you live near someone who's left a comment, then you respond. And I will say this, um, this is the cyber world. Even in real life, we don't know who we're meeting. In the cyber world, be cautious. And don't take personally anybody's caution. Correspond for a while, email for a while, then exchange phone numbers when you're feeling comfortable. And when you're feeling more comfortable, meet in a public area. I have met a lot of subscribers. And as they say in South Carolina, you ain't right. Well, guess what? A lot of those subscribers were, were not right. I was played, I was taken, I was uh, lost a lot of money. Um, so use your best judgment. This I've never said in that kind of video, and I'm showing you this because I thought it was going to be sunny today. Well, guess what? This is what we got again. Everything that is taking place now is having an effect. One of the greatest things about South Carolina was the sun. Even when they were spraying, even when there was that haze, you still could feel the sun. It's gone. This winter has been awful. Look at all the microwaves, all right? Um, and when they have this horizon to horizon thick cloud coverage, they need to raise the frequencies to maintain it. So these are the days that I feel really bad. And something happened today that I was like, okay, something is very wrong, very off. I just laid down to watch a video. And I was so surprised when I woke up that I fell asleep. But I slept and I woke up. I... I've been off ever since. I felt so drugged. My body felt heavy. So these frequencies that they are using, well, you just saw that huge pulse, are extremely dangerous and they do destroy all life. The uh, I, it, it's like so obvious. When you look at the full picture, as full as you can get it, with everything that is going on now, if you're living in a rural area and life is still pretty much the same for you, not in terms of our government and what's going on in Washington, D.C. and the insanity, but nature and you're not really uh, sick or, you know, experiencing the toxins as other people are. You may have this view that things will be okay. No, you're just lucky right now. Things are not okay. Things are really bad. So the insanity that we see all over the place, you know, now what, there are 70 different genders, and we had that Gillette commercial, you know, masculinity is now, you know, men, you are now considered predators and sexual uh, abusers and just simply because you are masculine. Um, and that should not be laughed at. That, everything that's now being, what you're seeing is very serious because they are reshaping all of life. Attitudes, opinions, um, reshaping the world physically into their little uh, totalitarian 
communist on steroids, dictatorship for the elite. But we're seeing people change due to the frequencies. We're seeing life itself being killed off due to the incredible explosion of toxic chemicals and heavy metals that they are spraying into the atmosphere, coming down. You see the trees dying everywhere. I've read comments where people are saying that they're not um, seeing any insects. I see very few insects here. What you're looking at right here, well, it should be obvious to any adult that this is not Mother Nature, that this is manufactured by man. And I think it was Cindy Gray who posted a video, I hope I'm not mistaken, that artificial intelligence is controlling weather. I think it was Cindy. Well, she might be right if it was she, but obvious, not Mother Nature. Um, is that not a wow? That's a wow. Now, that is just cool, right? If I saw that, I would stop dead in my tracks. I'd have my mouth open. I'd be like, okay, I don't want to move because I don't want to. I don't want that to fly away. There's a lot of people who wouldn't even see it. A lot of people who would just walk right by it. A lot of people who wouldn't give a shit. You know, whew. here in South Carolina, I met people who purposely aim their car to kill turkeys and wildlife. For those of us, and I'm not even going to be saying sensitive, but when you compare yourself to others, yeah, you're sensitive. You're just real. You, you have retained humanity. You get that there's something just beautiful and exquisite about life. But for those of us who are connected to nature, there is a sensitivity that we have. We, we get immediately, first of all, that everything is connected, but that it's not just the two-legged who has the right to live and then to do whatever the hell they want to do. All life all life has a right to live the life they deserve. It's the two-legged that is killing off a whole lot of species. And for those of us who get it, who see it, who, who can't ignore what's happening to all life, like the feral cats here, you see, they're sneezing, they're coughing. More have been dropped off who were not feral. I heard a neighbor, the excuse, well, many people can't afford their pets anymore. Oh, like I can? What, were they just hoping that I would be someone who could ignore it too? It's like, if everybody just cared, there wouldn't be this burden. It's the people who don't care that create a heavy burden on those who do. But it hurts. It hurts to see. Not so much the feral, because feral, they just, they're feral. And that's the life that they know. It's these cats that you know they've been a pet. And when you are living and you're someone who can't ignore, you're actually aware of your surroundings, you can't turn it off. It's not a choice. You then are someone who will be going through a range of emotions every single day. You need the support in your real life. You need support in your real life. 
to carry you through, to make you stronger. That's why it's very important that those of you who do want to meet up, leave a comment below. But those of you who are still okay, who don't need that support, I this is the first time I'm saying this. You too should leave a comment. Because things are going to get oh so much harder. Even if you just left a comment, and be honest, you know, and nobody should take anything personally. State up front. Look, right now, I don't have time. I've got my kids at work or whatever. But I would really like to develop, at least on paper, a support network. Can I have your name? Can I have your telephone number? And should I need it, you know, uh, in the near future? That way you will have it. Take the time. Put in the effort to create that support network for yourself. Don't think how you're living right now is going to be how you're going to be living in the near future. So I, it, it, I do think it's critical at this point because I'm hearing more and more saying what I was saying actually a couple of years ago, like Catherine Austin Fitz. And I will link below to this uh, video, this interview on Jeff Rentz. Um, she talking about, well, the things that you can do. Now, there are a lot of people who talk, <clears throat> who are living a circumstance uh, that is different from a lot. Those of you who have resources still and have some money, listen to this video. But there are things that you can do even if you don't have those resources. Bottom line is you have to change. You have to change. You have to change in order to meet what life has become, but what life is still becoming. It's not good. You know, uh, I will link below also to... Um, Corruption and the coming chaos, and this is Max Egan. And yeah, the chaos is only going to get worse. The insanity is only going to get worse. The corruption that we see now in our face, it's going to get more obvious and more maddening. More and more people will get sick. Uh, the legislation coming out of Congress is just going to be a legislation that is going to be destroying more and more and more of us. Eventually, we will have, we will face that mandatory vaccination. All agendas continue. And they are speeding things up. So, what Max Egan has been saying, what a lot of people have been saying is, You've got to get yourself out of the system. And Catherine Austin Fitz also talks about how get your money out of the corrupt banks and put it in a credit union or a local bank. She talks also about, you know, people talk about the corruption in Washington, D.C., but you don't hear much about the local corruption. You've got to get active in your own communities even if it is to build up that social network so that you can have the support that you need that will keep you strong. Um, and she also talks about get rid of the people in your life that don't have integrity, um, that, you know, are doing nothing, um, not changing. And yes, changing is a choice. It's a choice. Um, and get rid of the people who drain you. You know, those who you are trying to raise up and they're so wanting you to stay down, you've got to cut them loose because things are really ramping up now. And, you know, reading this article, all right, so I posted videos on all of the insects dying and the birds dying, and it's, you know, here, this was posted two days ago. 
insect collapse. We are destroying our life support system. Of course, this uh, journalist or whoever wrote this article, it's global warming. Okay, well, we're going to be seeing that more and more. We're going to see more and more people getting more hostile, mean, self-centered, and not caring about anything. For those of us who care, that hurts. And that can put us through a whole range of emotions that are not good. That's why you need to have people who you can talk to. Um, but just reading this, we knew that something was amiss in the first couple of days. This was the scientist Brad Lister who went back to Puerto Rico after 35 years and found that 98% of the ground insects were gone. Were gone. I've spoken about the insects. They're pretty much gone here. Bees, I might see a couple during the summer. I think I saw maybe two butterflies this summer. I was on the phone with somebody a couple of days ago and I was outside and I said, oh my God, I see a bird. I see very few birds. And of the wildlife that I see, well, it's really the feral cats here, coughing, sneezing. I don't know anyone who's well. I'm not exaggerating here. I don't know anyone who feels well. I know a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but I know people that I've spoken to about the Wi-Fi that they are still living in and they don't give it up. That's very frustrating. Okay, so here, what did he find in Puerto Rico? Insect population that once provided plentiful food for birds throughout the mountainous national park had collapsed. 98% of ground insects gone. 80% uh, gone from canopies, you know, up in the trees. And it was just astonishing. It was a true collapse of the insect population in the rainforest. So, things are collapsing more and more. And because of the wow, <laughs> toxic dump that has only increased throughout the years, and these dangerous artificial electromagnetic frequencies only increasing, it is not a surprise that we should see a collapse taking place all over. This was today. This is the, the South Carolina coast. I thought I was going to get some sun today, but no, they covered it over. So when you also recognize the evil every single day all over the place, and then you have surrounded, you are surrounded by people who don't care, you know you have enemies all over. It's the people that don't care that allow evil to just keep dumping these toxic chemicals and heavy metals. The people who don't care to give up their Wi-Fi and find out how dangerous it is, um, you know that you can only do so much you know, to reduce the exposure, but you're surrounded by neighbors who have Wi-Fi. You're living in an area with cell towers, Gwen towers, antennas up the wazoo. How much can you do to just keep going? But your struggles and how you feel, it's all related to man. If it was Mother Nature, 
it, it would be easier because that's out of your control. Man is not out of our control unless we allow man to be out of our control. Please don't leave a comment saying it's not only men. I know. I'm using the generic, okay? Um, but look at this. So we were completely covered over. The microwaves that you see in the cloud coverage with your own eye, you know, well, huh, I feel like shit. You point the microwaves, but you see these microwaves. They're all over, all over. And look at this pummeling of just this region region alone that look anybody could look at this and know that this is completely artificial all of the straight lined um, little you know box it looks like Lego um, look at all of this and you look at this and they're just dumping all of these poisonous toxic chemicals and heavy metals. All life is being destroyed when they do this in the Pacific and the Atlantic on virtually every country. You get upset. You can't help but get upset. Then you see all of the microwaves and yeah, you understand why people are getting sick and dying and um, all life is dying, but this is man. A man absolutely could have been stopped if we banded together, but we didn't. So um, look at all of this. The only thing I think at this point is, of course, you've got to, you know, prep and do all that's necessary to, you know, have all of the emergency supplies ready on hand. And, and change, do whatever it is that you can do on a daily basis to change your own behavior. Stop complying. Get out of the system. Um, and build a support network for yourself. You know, I was checking out the world and the amount that they are dumping all over the world. It is astonishing. So, United States, and look at the, look how thick it is. But, really, this is a cloud? No, it's not. You think about all of the life in this ocean that has a right to exist without man destroying it, killing it off. It pisses me off to no end. Um, but you look at, well, here we go again, Saudi Arabia and North Africa. There are areas that seem to be less pummeled with these toxins. And you have to wonder, what is that about? Lots of Australia. I don't see Australia covered like I do. You know, the United States, Ireland, Scotland, Europe, uh, European countries wonder if that's where the elite scumbags are going. 
Anyway, look at, um, my God, look at this. Well, this is Portugal, this is Spain, uh, France. Look at this. My God. And, well, England was a bit spared, at least today, but Ireland, Scotland, pretty much covered, uh, uh, covered Germany. Look at all of the microwaves. They are destroying this planet, destroying it, destroying all life. Well, sorry, I just had a neighbor stop by, and no, I can't remember what I was talking about, but um, and I just walked outside. Yeah, we had rain, and you know what? The road is slippery, slippery, so whatever it is that they are spraying and is coming down it's making things a lot more slippery slick look at this my god all right so what i am saying i'll say again um the the healthier support system that you have will determine how you're going to make it. Unfortunately, those of us who are isolated and are alone, we're not going to make it. So, please do all you can to make the changes in your life. So that, you know, what we're living already is maddening and upsetting. What's coming is it's really going to be something that it's just going to be very difficult to ride this out. I was wanting to live stream. I don't know how and uh, but I am thinking about doing it where people can do that chat. I think that might be maybe I'll do it like twice a week or something where people can just check in with one another that way. Um, and thinking about other things which I will uh, I'll tell you right now I have been and will continue as long as I can to uh, try to combat what I have been experiencing and to pull myself up, you know, because whatever has been taking place this past year has been very, very difficult and it has just laid me out. So I'm going to continue to try my best to get myself back up so that I can be of more use, hopefully. But um, I just forgot what I was going to say. Man. Oh, look at this. Jesus. Um, this was all today. This is January 17, guys. Just today. God. Um, oh. What I do want to say to all of you, and I've said this for seven years, it's been you guys 
that have gotten me through. And those of you who are leaving comments that are supportive, supportive, and I don't underestimate just the power of that because it helps me every single day and I so appreciate it I do not take it for granted hell I'll leave my PayPal if you want to leave a donation that would be great um, I will be posting a video about the cats I noticed a lot of people are asking how the cats are doing they are doing well they're happy they're well taken care of uh, they have posed for me a whole new challenge in terms of my energy, in terms of my, you know, oh, oh okay. Um, well, a lot. I'll go, I'll, I'll talk about it in another video. Will you look at this? Look at this. My God. Everything is changing. The atmosphere is changing. Everything is changing not for the good. So, oof, it's, it's intense, it's big. But, um, if, uh, I wish that I could respond to comments, to emails. I just saw a comment from someone who's having difficulty writing. I don't know what the hell has gone on with me this past year, but it is not because I don't care or I just don't want to that couldn't be further from the truth it is something has definitely changed with me I am not myself I used to love to write I now writing is a real challenge so this is the effect of evil destroying life on earth you know I'm not I'm not gonna candy coat I'm not gonna hide and pretend I'm better it's real it's in our face and yes it is gonna get a whole lot worse um, I've never been able to delude myself into you know thinking things I just I've been kind of firmly planted in reality and yeah alright guys thank you so much for all of your support it is very very much appreciated leave a comment below even if you don't need to try to develop a support network for yourself. Ciao guys.